bridge tool in Maya is used to create geometry between two different split surfaces that are not connected by geometry. In this video we are going to go through how this is achieved and how the tool works in general. So let's say we have these two different surfaces that we want to connect this face and this face here. There are multiple ways to achieve that but one of the most common ways is to use the bridge tool. So for bridge tool to work you need to have two meshes combined into one mesh. So if the two parts that you want to connect are not in the same object you should first combine them. So let's do that first. First left click on one and then shift left click on the other and you will see that the first one is outlined with the white color and the currently selected one is outlined with the green color. So now what we want to do is go to mesh and combine or if you have it in your shelf you can do it that way as well. So now that we have our geometry combined we can do the bridging. First of all we select one face and then we select the other face and then we go to edit mesh these options may not be visible for you and if you don't see them you should go to this drop down to the left and select modeling and now you have mesh and edit mesh. So in edit mesh you have bridge. I have it docked to my custom shelf and I advise you to do that as well since you're going to use it very often. So you go bridge and there we go the geometry is bridged. So now you have uh, different options here. You can see them in this weird little window or in the channel box to the right if you didn't delete your history. So here you can do various different things like add divisions, which is sometimes useful. Also make it bend, in interpolates between the two surfaces in a curve-like manner instead of linear. You can also change different settings that, that dictate how your uh, bridge behaves. You can play with that. Sometimes you may encounter an error where you cannot bridge between two surfaces and that probably means that you either have double vertices at some point, at, at, at some position, so you should always drag over your vertices if something like that happens to see if there's a if there's an extra one there are four here and it should say four here if you don't know how to enable this you should look at my how to enable the heads up display tutorial so if that happens simply merge them together by going to by selecting both of them and then going to edit mesh and then merge. You can also do the bridging between edges but in order for that to happen you can't have the edge surrounded on all sides by faces. So if we delete this for example we will be able to bridge here also here which is very useful. So that's basically it. Feel free to ask any questions if some issues appear for you.